Okay, now our lecture started again, and I'm going to invite students again. Okay, hello again. Uh, are you able to hear me? We, we can hear you. Um, great. Uh, I don't have much more to talk about, but I, it will take still 20 more minutes. Uh, it's taking me a longer time than usual, but uh, if I'm going too slow or too fast, like I said, just hit me up. Okay. Um, my next uh, lecture will be um, on uh, will be a recorded video probably. So I'm going to uh, make you as ready as possible. Okay. Uh, so I was talking about QWERTY uh, shortcuts uh, by Q. By hitting Q, you do you can do that. By hitting W, you can uh, do this uh, movement. And by hitting E uh, in your uh, keyboard, you can rotate your objects in different axes. So you can choose to rotate it like this. And while you are rotating, um, your um, numbers are adjusted here. And you can see the rotation in the game as well. And uh, it's generally a good advice to use some whole numbers. Uh, like that. And <laughs> what else? When we hit R, um, the scaling tool is activated so if you see the scale part in the inspector and uh, when i drag they are updated okay and uh, when i hit t uh, rect tool gets activated it's a scaling option that uh, does multiple things at the same time. So it's uh, going to <coughs> keep the ratio um, of uh, X and Y, and it's going to scale both X and Y values of the objects that is chosen but it's not used frequently. 
and if V hits Y, then this window gets selected. Now I can do all of them. I can uh, drag them, move them, uh, scale them, and even rotate them. But this is not an easy uh, thing to use. I mean, it, it looks all mixed up. And because uh, of this, we generally don't use that and instead uh, use Q, W, or, or E to um, adjust our game, uh, our game objects. And you can also uh, go to this and you can uh, select additional uh, perspectives as well. As you see, uh, my scene is changed, so I'm going to hit Control S again and I'm going to hit play to uh, see how uh, my objects are falling. Okay, any questions so far? Um, so another thing that you can do is uh, actually locking your um, <coughs> views so normally when you change uh, your selected object your inspector also shows the selected object right but sometimes you want to um, stay uh, on the previous object so let's say that i want to see how my cube is moving okay and uh, i want to see how uh, i want to see the components in my cube okay such as transform mesh filter mesh render box collider and rigid body i want to see those okay? and i want to expand rigid body this is also fine uh, if i want to do that uh, i can lock uh, by clicking the lock button and even when i choose um, another object such as sphere or capsule or cylinder uh, the selected objects uh, won't be updated with an inspector. So I will be seeing the old object. Uh, sometimes you want to see two uh, objects at the same time. So you want to check the details of uh, more than one object at the same time. And if you want to do that, you can uh, hit three um, dots you can add a tab and you can add an inspector so you can have two inspectors uh, at once as you see one of them is unlocked the recent one is unlocked you can lock them both and you can unlock one of them and i'm going to actually put one of them here um, not here but uh, maybe here or maybe here so let's keep them side by side and as you see one of them is um, sitting still uh, with the cube and other one is um, since it's unlocked it's going to um, update according to the object i choose from the hierarchy all looking good so far or do you have any questions uh, another trick uh, where this is useful is when we are uh, moving uh, our folders from uh, one uh, when our uh, when we are moving our um, assets from one folder to another folder so i'm going to uh, close inspector tab and i'm going to actually add a project tab okay and i'm going to actually put it right here so as you see this time i have two projects tabs open and um i'm going to actually um, lock one of them it's already locked here um, so this way um, i can stay within uh, the first uh, scene and i can uh, go into my scenes folder uh, inside the other project window 
And now I want to um, take my first scene and put it into scenes folder. I can do that from here, obviously. Uh, I didn't have to use two windows for that, but sometimes you need to uh, move your files to a very specific location that you cannot see uh, within one project window. So let's say that I want to move my first scene uh, into another folder um, inside scenes folder. So I want to create a folder um, which are called uh, lecture folders, okay? Uh, I, I'm going to actually call this November lecture, lecture folders. Uh, and let's say that I want to move this into November lecture folders. Uh, then I cannot do that immediately from here, right? It's problematic. So what I can do is uh, go to the other project window and go into scenes and go into November lecture folders. And now it's opened and it's empty currently. So now I can um, drag my first scene um, from the locked project window and I can drag it uh, into uh, November lecture folders. So now I have edited the um, folder structure. Okay, I'm going to talk more about folder structure um, later, I believe. Um, but just uh, know that um, under your project's name, there are two big uh, main folders. One of them is called assets and one of them is called packages. And package um, folder comes uh, almost empty at the start. And uh, when you add some stuff into Unity, then your Unity also adds those into your packages folder. So uh, if you add Visual Studio, it will be uh, it will have a package inside Unity, and if you add Rider, it will have a package inside Unity as well. But um, where we are changing stuff is uh, in assets folder. So we work on assets folder uh, for the most part. Okay, what else? Uh, okay, uh, maybe um, you can, uh, I'm going to revisit uh, the shortcuts uh, so that I won't skip any important ones. Um, we have talked about orbiting, dragging and zoom. We have talked about control P, pause and step. Um, okay, we haven't talked about focusing. Um, so there are two different ways of focusing. One of them is uh, where you um, are not in game mode. You can click and click and select a object and click F inside, sorry, inside uh, your hierarchy to focus this one. And you can also click um, to a sphere, then click F. Um, sorry where you are in the scene, uh, where your mouse is in the scene view to focus this one. So, yeah. And you can do double F clicking uh, to follow it along. So I didn't click double F at the right time because it, so it didn't follow, but I will going to do this. Uh, if I hit I mean, it's a bit hard to see, but it's fell down. So I'm going to hit double F and it will follow. Uh, okay. Um, and what else do we have? To build our game, uh, we can always use um, Control B or Command B in Mac and it will, um, be asking you a, a name. So I'm going to call this first 
lecture game and if i hit save it will take some time to build all of those into a small um, self-sustained app and it's automatically played okay um so i'm going to uh, this is this is not in unity by the way this is uh, this has created a separate app uh, that is resembling my game this is uh, my game and it all uh, automatically opens the game so you can uh, play uh, you can hit escape by default uh, and get out of the game uh, i'm hitting escape but it's not working for some reason i'm not sure uh, so, as you see, um, there's lecture example project uh, in a separate window than uh, Unity. So I'm going to actually jump back into Unity. <coughs> and if you want to change some settings, you can always click Control Shift B, and uh, you can um, also click Command Shift B in uh macbook so uh you open you your build settings and you choose uh, your target platform as you see since it has a cube next to uh, our pc now uh, my unity is building for pc and mac this is why i was able to play my game right away if it was an android or mm -hmm. ios app i wouldn't be able to play it from my pc so let's keep it selected for now uh, and there is a um, selection uh, you want to add all of your scenes to your build if you want to uh, see them within your game and you generally want to do that so let's add our open scenes and this is all uh, the scenes we have currently. Uh, if you have a scene um, that is, for instance, a DLC maybe, that you don't want to add into your game, then you don't want to uh, add this in your products. And if you uh, don't want your downloadable content or DLC in your game, you can uncheck this one. Uh, after you check your scene, um, your scene index is shown here. So your scene index starts with zero and it goes one, two, three, and goes on like that. Uh, any questions so far? We have covered a lot, I believe. Uh, okay, if not, um, I'm going to just talk five more minutes and uh, this is all for today. Okay, so first of all, um, we have in our console some um, choices. Okay, um, if uh, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but when I click clear, for instance, uh, the bugs and warnings are gone so it clears them all um, it, i am able to see um, some information um, info uh, logs uh, some warnings and some errors but if i select those uh, unselect those then i won't see anything so let's select them all and if i um click clear on play every time i uh, play my game uh, previous errors will be cleared and uh, if i similarly if i choose clear on builds 
uh, previous uh, error messages or warning messages will be cleared when I build my game. You can also choose to pause uh, your game when you meet with an error. So you can um, pause your game at the exact point where there is an error and see where, what went wrong in your game. This is a clever tool. Normally, I use um, clear on play, clear uh, on build, and collapse selected. Uh, this is my default settings, and I want to see warnings, errors, and uh, information messages in my editor, so I make them selected. Okay. Also, um, a similar thing is here. So you can uh, choose maximize on play within game window, and it will uh, maximize your win uh, game window whenever you play your game. And you can choose to mute audio. It's not affecting us currently since we don't have audio source yet. And you can have other uh, choices uh, that you want to disable. You can disable light, for instance. You can disable um, all capsule colliders. You can disable all, um, I don't know, mesh renderers etc uh, together uh, in in your uh, game so this is selecting them all uh, let's say that's what happened let's look at what happens when you save your camera it should be i mean you, you shouldn't be able to see anything but i'm not sure let's click play yes i can still see something but yeah i didn't mess uh, around with this uh, what happens if i deselect capsule colliders nothing happens and i'm going to uh, actually try something now rigid body where are you okay Apparently, you cannot disable rigid body here. But okay, yeah. Uh, you can uh, also choose different uh, ratios for your screen. So you can go um, 16 by 10. Uh, so it will be different. And uh, you can also choose uh, three aspects so that uh, your uh, game view, uh, your camera view will be adjusted according to your game window. So if I do that, um, three aspects, then it's going to fill my window no matter how I resize my game window. Uh, okay. Um, similarly, in my scene view, uh, I can go into 2D mode uh, to look them from one side. I can disable 2D mode and uh, now I can rotate around. I can disable lights, enable lights like this. So I can see the shadows or not. I can toggle audio on or off. Don't forget to turn it on if you want to hear some sounds when playing your game. And yeah, you can also toggle your skybox. Uh, yeah, this was all I wanted to cover for today. Uh, we have talked too much already. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, I will be posting a example um, game. I will be basically uh, having a tutorial and uh, I really advise you to uh, do that um, week by week. So uh, I actually chose uh, probably the best uh, tutorials to learn Unity 
completely. Uh, so they are really, um, the, the code quality is good and uh, also the coverage of the important uh, fields are good. Do you have any questions so far? Uh, are you with me? Yes, uh, I don't have any yeah. questions. Okay. Um, yeah, this is all. And, and thanks for uh, listening to me this uh, much time. I'm, I'm getting tired of it. So see you later. See you. See you. See you.